Karina Hussain, one of the Mr. David Gregory, Lake Tower, etc. Buddy G, Sharp, etc. And you're going to introduce Mr. Sam Rosner. Come on, the side of the musician. So we're not going to do a Q&A after this one, it's just going to be a little bit of an extended introduction because obviously it's going to be very late. Um, so can you tell us about the movie David? Uh, yeah, I was um, editing a documentary about the art house movie Aria, and, which was directed by Jean-Luc Godard and Robert Altman and Ken Russell and Nicholas Rowe and various people and I just was thinking while I was editing it that it would be so much better if it was a horror movie. So I, uh, uh, Kareem, I believe, was the first person I called because I met him at the Boston Underground Film Festival and said, what if we, if we uh, did an anthology movie that was set in a Grand Guignol theatre and the filmmakers had the same budget and basically just could deliver whatever they liked as long as it was suitable to play in this theatre. He thought it was a good idea, introduced me to Douglas Buck and uh, then the other filmmakers kind of followed after that. And um, tell us a bit about your particular segment. Uh, my particular segment is uh, about a relationship breakup, which funnily enough has watched a few of them are about, even though none was conferred before uh, we started the film. I mean, we all consulted um, with each other after we'd written our scripts, but, uh, but everybody got to come up with their own script. Uh, from you know whatever they wanted to do, and there was some crossover in themes in the film, um, but I think that makes it interesting. And buddy, you tell us about your segment as well. Well, mine is um, mine is a love story actually, and those of you that know my work, you know what that means. <laughs> so it's a, it's about a, it's about the deterioration and the destruction of a marriage, and what happens when one of the people in that marriage is psychotically insane. <laughs> cool. And Kareem, please tell us about your crazy piece of this melange. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I have a few special interests in what the kids call the life. Um, uh, I really love women and I really love eyeballs. So, uh, you know, this movie is a bit of a sort of extrapolation on both themes. And, uh, you know, I thought that uh, basically the horror genre needed its um, sort of weirdo uh, superhero female uh, serial killer who's addicted to other people's uh, vitreous fluid. So, uh, the, their eyeball juice. So, I figured, you know, maybe the world needed this. So, um, and of course, David uh, contacted, uh, contacted me about this. And it was a fantastic opportunity to sort of take one of these stories that's, you know, steaming in your drawer that everybody said, no, you can't possibly make this fucking thing. And, uh, you know, thank Lady David and the rest of the team said, yes, yes, you can make this fucking thing, and uh, I suppose the result will be piercing itself on the screen tonight. Fuck in hell! So, please tell us about your uh, stuff involved. Well, I'm here as a composer, not a director, and uh, thanks to David here, uh, I got involved in two segments in this film. Uh, one, Kareem's, I won't do the music for that. But I'm also here to kind of represent the director who, for various reasons, can't be here, which is Richard Stanley. And, uh, this, is, this is first genre of piece for many yeah, years. Yeah, that's, that's great. And, and, and thanks to uh, the making of this uh, film, I've been reunited with Richard after many, many years. I did hard work, I still work, etc. Everything he's done. And I was so pleased to go to the set where they were shooting. And Cameron was cinematographer on Richard's yes. section two. And it was fantastic to see Richard Stanley back as a director. And uh, I felt very proud to be there. And I hope you enjoy this segment. So who are here tonight are actually Jeremy Caston, who did the, all the wraparound segments uh, with Udo Kia. Um, which was the last thing that was done, it was done very hastily, and uh, but I, I think it's a fantastic way that it's gelled the whole thing together, and particularly as we were able to get an iconic actor like Udo Kier to be the master of ceremonies in this film was, was just a dream. Um, Douglas Buck, the director of Family Portraits and the Sisters remake, um, was like, brought on through Kareem because they live very near each other in Montreal and figured they could pull their resources and their teams and shoot their films back to back, more or less. And uh, his, he, he basically decided he was going to take the concept and do something that was 
kind of about what the concept was about as opposed to doing something that was grand guignol and it's, it's turned into a, a, a very powerful piece that seems to resonate with a lot of people and Kareem shot that one as well. Kareem shot three of the episodes, his own Mother of Toads and The Accident by Douglas Buck. Yeah, and Douglas Buck also edited four of the episodes. Yes, uh, he did. Douglas is also a brilliant editor who edited a movie called uh, Territories, which maybe a few of you saw at Pride Fest in Glasgow. Um, uh, he, he cut, uh, well in order, he cut uh, Tom Savini's episode, he cut uh, My episode, your episode, so, um, uh, the accident, his own, and Vision Stands. Yeah, and then Tom Savini, when we, uh, I think Tom Savini was the last person to, to join the group, and um, obviously when our co-producer said he was very tight with Tom Savini, and he just had a conversation with Tom who was uh, uh, yearning to direct again, and the co-producer, Mike Ruggiero, said, well, I think I have just the project. And he brought it up to me, should Tom Savini be a part of this? Um, I was like, it's Tom Savini. I mean, everybody from our generation grew up admiring Tom Savini's work. And so we were very, very happy to get him involved. And applause. And pick up the UK Premier Hall, the theatre, the Tsar.